Hello, hello. I'm Lynn Browder, and I have a son, Owen, who is 11, and he has autism. We paint together, and he helps me paint the backgrounds with a hand-over-hand -hand method, and then I paint the rest. So, today... I'm painting flowers, but I'm going to paint them more abstract than I normally do, I think, <laughs> especially with my little creation of lines down here. Um, uh, I just feel like some days I want to do something um, that's just different, so here we are. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it ends. We shall see how it ends. Um, these are already kind of a little chunkier than I wanted. Um, but we're going for it. I, I wanted to take, um, like just random dots, flops, whatever these are, and make kind of flowers. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it's going to work out. If it's going to work out. If it's going to be something we want. But we're going for it. Sometimes I put myself like in this puzzle where I just keep doing the same thing over and over. And I had to reset that sometimes. And so even though this is kind of like still exactly like <laughs> all the other things I make, I just wanted to have something like a little bit different. So again, we'll see how this ends up. But here we are. Here we are. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Um, and sometimes, you know what happens is I do this, and then I come back and I make it a rooster, or a troll, or a something, or I completely change it all. So, that's where we're at right this second. But, let's see what happens. Let's let's just see what happens. I just want to see. I want to play around with stuff I don't usually let myself do. Make something, change it, readapt it. I don't know. One time I made a rooster hen, chicken, something, and no matter how I tried, I could not make it work. It just was not going to work. No matter what I did, I didn't like it. I just couldn't, couldn't, couldn't. And so I finally turned it into a troll, completely different, just turned it into a troll. And it is absolutely one of my favorite paintings I've ever done. It was one of my first earlier paintings. And it was just more about just doing until I got the emotions that I wanted from it. And then that's when I finally just said, okay, it's okay. Whatever is happening, whatever is on there, that's what we're doing. And it's kind of freeing to just be able to say, you know what? Some days we just have to have stuff. Um, that's actually probably my favorite one. I kind of like that one. Um, I really kind of like it. And we're just going to draw it over here. And that's, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes you just have to take whatever it is and 
let it be. Let it, you know, make, let it make its point. There's like this random dot right there somehow. I don't, I wonder how it ended up there. Um, I don't know if it like flashed off or, you know, splashed from that or something else. I don't know. Um, but I'm, I'm, this one made me very happy. I was going to do a whole bunch of other stuff, um, to it, but when you find something that makes you happy, you just kind of have to stop. So I'm not going to do anything else up there. I might do something down here. Um, I'm not sure. It's kind of like, um. You know how they have these, like, centipede, um, worms? They have, like, tons and tons of legs. So, we're just gonna put... I hope that one dries like that. Like, I really hope that dries like that. Because that will make me very happy. Um, sometimes, I used to finger paint a lot more than I do now. Like, I hardly ever finger paint. And I never really got, like, realistic about my finger painting. Like, where it would really make sense or anything. Um, but it's so relaxing to me, and it's so storytelling, and it's so, I don't know, just relief, I think. I don't know what the right words are. But, um, so I highly encourage, you know, to, to do what you can, when you can, um, I almost want more of those, like, if I could do that again, so let's, let's just see, like, I want one more, I'm happy, very, very happy, that was just, like, random, see, this is why I like doing this, you just do random, so there's a purpley one, and then we're gonna do a ready one, and kind of another blue, and then some orange, and yellow, and we need this brighter, see, that, that again, that just is happy, that's happy, right? That just is a happiness. It's just a happiness for something. It's just happy. That's what we need is we need more happy, right? We need more happy in the world. So. Patchwork quilt of flowers. I'm liking that. I'm liking that just wild flowers set where there's room to roam. Alexa, stop. Anybody else have that? <laughs> I forget, but there's timers and alarms and everything else in between. Um, okay. I'm just going to add a few little random things. I'm very excited about that one. I like these down here, but that one is just making me very happy. And this still interests me. I, ha I might have to watch back and see where that came in. Alright. So... O for Owen, L, and B. Okay.
Okay, so now I'm trying to decide if I want to sprinkle anything on it or just let it be. I think I'm just going to let it be. I think that's where we're at. So I feel like I want something over here, but I feel like I'm, I'm kind of like maxed out on the wild child stuff, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. And when I said that, it just gave me this little like just gave me a little idea. Just a tiny idea. I don't know why, but there we go. Maybe it needs, maybe it needs, um, little flower. Just little flower dots around. It's not putting them right there. Oops, see, I just grabbed the thing. <laughs> it's um bohemian maybe i don't know boho soho <laughs> i'm not sure what the what the new terms are or what they're they are but there you go I'm still liking this one right here. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching and being a part of our day. Toodles!